minor symbols and Rick playing guitar. I think that I find just about as much meaning in doing music as one can find meaning in any tangible thing. We kind of prided ourselves on not setting out to be in a genre. Our goal has always been, let's just make music that's good, uh, at least in our estimation, and not worry too much about um, where it goes and what it does. The it's definitely the fact that we have our day jobs and we want to do it full time. I mean, if it were up to me, we'd be touring like all the time at this point. Like, I we just want to, I want to be on the road and playing as many shows as we possibly can. We did a lot of Iowa City shows our first couple years. Got a good following from doing that. People there were actually kind of like a little bit hungry for like what we were trying to do and so it was a great place to cut our teeth uh, just playing show after show after show and figuring out what worked and what didn't. For a very long time we didn't have um, really a product that was easily accessible um, for the public um, but now we have our debut album out like on all the major streaming sites. And somehow it got released and somehow it's done. <laughs> And it was a mess the whole time. Like, for most of it, we didn't actually really know what the story was, what the concept was. We kind of had premonitions of it. I just trusted that Dylan knew what was going on. And then I would write a song and be like, yeah, and this is like contributing to this, and be like, yeah. But we'd both, uh. <laughs> The reaction that we've received has been positive, though. You know, I'm not sure if someone didn't like it that they would just come up to me and tell me how much they didn't like it. <laughs> to know, like, we're not the only people who are moved by this, and that this whole, our whole approach of let's make music that we like and maybe people will like it actually worked. <laughs> wow, like that was, I was coming down from that high for a good week afterwards. <laughs> One friend of mine just telling me and Riley like just how horrible the past, you know, however many months of his life have been, but like listening to our album, it like really resonates with him and hits all those emotional highs and lows that he's feeling and he says it's been like my soundtrack for the past several weeks now. If that's the extent of the fame that we reach, then I can walk away happy from that because we did that for like at least one person. We want to like make a name for ourselves in Iowa first and then kind of branch out around the Midwest. We don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves and like stretch out across the United States just losing money and, and uh, <laughs> uh, touring to Timbuktu. I feel l as if just in the past couple months is when uh, we've really started to have any sort of following. People are paying attention to us like in other states or just in other cities or whatever and actually making an effort to come out to a show. I feel like I'm being like stifled or like just feel like I'm missing something if I go for long periods of time without doing something musical. But it's something that chooses you. You know, it's not like, why are we doing this? It's like, we have to do this. Feels like, what? I mean, what else am I gonna do? <laughs> in a positive way, not like, well, I might as well do this, I'm not going to do anything else. <laughs> might as well be a musician. Yeah, might as well be a musician. 